everyone and welcome back. Today I'm thrilled to announce to you Supermicro's B200 family line. It's the new era of innovation in enterprise AI and high performance computing. Before we dive in today's part two hands-on demo, I want to share a bit about Supermicro and why this company stands out in the world of enterprise computing. If you haven't heard about Supermicro, think of us as the engine room behind some of the world's greatest AI labs cloud providers, and data centers. Founded in the Silicon Valley, Supermicro has always had the reputation of being both an innovator and a workhorse to power everything from AI research and financial modeling to scientific breakthroughs. What's truly remarkable is Supermicro's enormous portfolio. Whether you need a compact edge system for deployment in the field, robust server for big data, or large systems for GPUs, Supermicro has you covered. Our hardware is the backbone for all kinds of workloads, including cloud, edge, storage, HPC, and of course, cutting edge AI work. Today though, I would like to focus on Supermicro's HGX B200 family series. This isn't just another server line. The B200 series is the ultimate platform for organizations that are pushing the edge of AI boundaries. Powered by NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture, these systems are designed for max speed, efficiency, and scale, giving you advanced options such as air or liquid cooling, flexible CPU storage, and most importantly, up to eight powerful B200 GPUs in a single chassis. What does that mean in practice? Imagine running the state-of-the-art AI models such as Llama 4, Mistral, DeepSea, not on the cloud, but fully on-premises secure and on unpresented scales. The B200 family brings that power all to your organization, supporting everything from multimodal AI workloads, PDFs, text, audio, video, you name it, to collaborative development teams across your organization. So as we're going through today's demo, keep in mind, the Supermicro HGX B200 isn't just about raw GPU power. It's about empowering you to innovate, to solve real business challenges, and to bring world-class AI into your everyday workflow. That has always been Supermicro's ethos, giving you the right tools to invent the future. Welcome back, Ty. Yeah, hi, Kitana. And welcome everyone. Uh, we have a little bit more of a demo to showcase with you today. So please take it away. Yeah, so Kitana, last time we talked about Lambda 4 Scout demo running on um, B200 HGX system that we have in Supermicro. Mm -hmm. So we do have the capability in this demo to showing last time is uh, reading the book, understanding image, and then also I want to show in the other feature that we can also do with this demo. They will understand audio as well. Like if you have the test file and then you're attaching into the uh, Slack. Okay, so did we add like a whisper model to the pipeline? Correct. Yeah, so now is a demo running um, actually a couple agents and then they're able to uh, depend on the input to na navigate on the work route into the correct one. So we're using Whisper uh, uh -huh. version 3. Uh, for, it's an open source model to running any audio transcribe. Wonderful. So basically, you have a switch case statement with all of the inputs? Yep, correct. That's uh, really cool. Yeah, Good right. job. Let me show you that. Just have to find a, a little long video so we can actually Sure, uh, take your time. Demo it. I do have a pretty good one. Uh, this is maybe two minutes. Okay. And right now we're just using the same application that we used a little bit earlier, but it's just been modified and updated. So same thing. I mentioned Lama, and then uh, attached the audios file. Uh, you can do pretty long video audios like uh, any postcards, like the news reading. We tested before 30 files, and then they get done in maybe one minute or so like that. Mm -hmm. So depend on the length, and what they're doing right now is they on the back end they calling uh, they calling a whisper model to do the transcribe. Okay, so and it then, was in Japanese, and then it translated it. Yeah, that's so cool. So the good thing is uh, whisper is very powerful. They understand multiple language. They able to detect it itself and then transcribe into the original text. And then after that, Lambda 4 pick it up, the transcribe, and then they're able, able to tell me what the summary key point and the insight about the audio and so on. I love that. It's yeah. extremely quick, too. Yeah. 
Yeah, and uh, more in, uh, exciting thing that I want to show you today, they also able to call the other agent, which is text to image generation. Um, so we do something fun that, uh, so I tell them to create an uh, image in uh, Makoto style. Love that. Yeah, of the same character, but uh, I may be running a marathon. <laughs> And then we're going to what? Take uh, image input? Yeah. So let's use my image. <laughs> okay. Because I do have the image uh, that we can test. So this is uh, Ty sitting in the office. Okay. And, and then, then he's going to be running? Yeah. So I want to make it to become a, a running marathon, guys. Um, and we're using Makoto style. So this is uh, inspired from uh, uh, Jack GPT that you know like pretty popular to create an image to become like a Ghibli style studio mm -hmm. um, and then I want to test it out with the Makoto style so basically you can using any oh, Laura uh, looks so good yeah, <laughs> yeah it looks very similar <laughs> with the yep. same guy yep yeah same shirt yeah <laughs> yeah so this is a flux uh, model oh cool and, okay and we're using a couple editing uh, model from uh, Facebook and Google and also a LoRa style uh, model that you can pick and choose from a Civit AI, for example, any kind of style that you want to create a character. Interesting. Okay, so so we have quite a bit of models on the back end. Can you tell me a little bit about how yeah. the back end's configured? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. So we have the system with eight uh, Blackwell B two hundred, and then uh, Lama four is running on four cores. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's a, a big window size context uh, model, so you can do up like 10 million uh, tokens, output input. And also, I have one car, um, I slide it into four different MIG to run different uh, agents. Okay. So we have the agent that doing uh, text to image generation, we have agent that doing whisper, so which is ASR, and we do have the other uh, MIG for different demos that we also showing in different JSON as well. Yeah. Seriously impressive. Um, yeah, we can uh, create an image uh, of something fun like a capybara uh, is wearing. Okay, a sun hat at the beach. A sun hat, yeah, at the beach, capybara. And let's see. Yeah. Yeah, so basically um, they're using a different agent. In this case, a stable diffusion 3.5 okay. version. And then they're using the text from so Lama will creating some uh, better text prompt that you can using for creating image from the user text prompt. And then go back into the back end and working with the stable diffusion agent to create the image. I yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. It take a while. So we will having some. Yeah, well, yeah. It has to create the Lama agent has to create the prompt first. Yeah, yeah. Aww. We have a capybara. <laughs> so cute. He's <laughs> wearing a hat. Yeah, at the beach. Um, yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much for sharing yeah. um, th the new improvements on the demo. Yeah. Was there anything else? Yeah, so last thing is, uh, so there's a big improvement that we also, we also adding a feature that they can using the internet search okay. to searching the web. Because uh, as you know, a lot of uh, model like Lama 4, uh, Mistral, or Dipsic, they do train on the uh, fixed data set. Mm -hmm. And then after one year, two years later, the data is kept out date. So some of the question is not up to date. Yeah, due to the uh, cutoff date, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. But you can add a tool into uh, and create an agent to become like searching the web or something like that. Oh, let's check yeah. this out. Sure. So, um, news. <laughs> So pretty much, um, so I just asking them to tell me what the latest news, mm -hmm. right? So what they're doing right now, they're calling some of the search API, um, and you can using different one. Like I'm using Google API search, but you can Classic. using uh, Microsoft Ping, you can using DuckDuckGo search, stuff like that. And then they searching for a couple of URL, um, and each web, each URL, they will go in there reading the website. And then understand what is it about, and come back and tell me um, what they found out. Yeah, love that. Yeah. So we have a couple of latest news <laughs> uh, that people pretty much is already um, see over the year for the last couple of days. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Amazing work. Thank you so much for your time today and for sharing this with yeah. us. Hopefully, you guys get to check this out soon. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.